Well, it's Saturday night. I, I am going to watch the game. I'll have a couple of beers and uh, sit there and have a couple of beers and watch what they got on. It should be a pretty good show. I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, really, I'm rear replaceable. It'll have to be somebody. I hope they are. I hope they're pretty good. Whatever you say on Saturday night, at least you won't have to watch. What I don't you have say. to work. I can have a few beers and say what I like. <laughs> Unless you've been in a coma, you don't know. The biggest story in sports and beyond circles is the firing of Don Cherry from Courtridge Corner for some remarks he made during uh, Saturday Night Broadcast. I'm here with Michael Diamond, the founder of Upstream Group, a PR guru, to tell us what advice would you give to Don Cherry right now? You know, often I would tell people in a situation like this to say less, to, to not talk, to not add fuel to the fire. But when you're Don Cherry, Canadian luminary, the seventh best Canadian of all time, as voted by uh, viewers of the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, this guy is beloved in Canada. He should talk more. He should have his story heard. He should remind people of who he is and why they love him. So he's doing the right thing. He's doing the rounds Absolutely. of media. And what do you think just generally of what Rogers did to Don? Look, I think they were waiting for an opportunity to fire him. I think the walk back from Ron McLean was really uh, almost treacherous uh, to a friend. He stood there. He didn't think it was a problem at the time until until the uh, jackal pack started to attack them on Twitter. And they, they came to the mob mentality. They shouldn't. I think it's going to be bad for ratings. I think it's going to be bad for Rogers. And it's going to be bad for hockey fans. What do you think, uh, if you look into your crystal ball, what is Don's future? Oh, I think it, it's bright. And, you know, it's, you usually wouldn't say that uh, the best days in someone's career uh, for an 85-year-old are ahead of them. But for Don Cherry, they're certainly not behind them. What do you think? Do you think someone else is going to hire him? Oh, absolutely. I think that uh, anyone in that space, unless there's contractual reasons not to, would be foolish to pass up an opportunity to put Don Cherry on television or in a news broadcast. Well, let us know what you think on Twitter and Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.